Good morning, we're going to do some mat pilates here working on lower back, core and legs. You will need a ring or band, ball block and mat. Making your way onto the mat, bending the knees, bring your back down and place the head on a block or pillow. First thing we're going to do is lift the legs to tabletop and place the hands either side of the bottom. Make sure that the heels are in line with the knees and then drop one at a time from tabletop to the floor for 15 on each leg. If the back hurts, place the ball under the bottom. Lower in one leg at a time, try and make sure that the legs come together, but that there is a gap between the knees as you drop, taking the toe to the floor before you lift again. There's 10. And now we're halfway. So from here, remember your breathing. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, or in through the nose and out through your nose, as you drop one leg at a time. Last four. And then we're going to stretch now that we've warmed up. Take your ring or band underneath your feet and lengthen the legs. Keeping the elbows bent and tight to the chest, draw the nose towards the pad and hold for six breaths. Some of you that want to add more progression, take hold of the outside of the ring to lengthen the elbows and the knees. Lowering the head, encourage both feet to travel towards the head now by pulling on your band or ring. This lengthening the hamstrings fully. Then drop one knee into crook position and don't let go of the leg. Remember, use the band if you don't have a ring. And then encourage the leg further towards the head by lengthening behind the knee and to the bottom. And again, we're pulsing for 30 counts allowing that leg to fully lengthen and to stretch into the glute muscles. And again, for more progression, take the hands inside of the pad or pull gently with both of the, the ends of the band as you draw the toes closer to the head. Now, allow one hand inside of the ring and take it to the side, watching the other leg stretch and pulse the foot towards the head here, working through the inside leg, bottom and glutes. Now I'm going to go up to the ceiling and out to the side for 16, allowing that adductor muscle to be able to stretch fully and the abductors to squeeze as you come out to the side. Watch the bent knee that it's not moving side to side. Last one. And we're going to do the same on the other leg, so swap them over. Remember this leg in crook position, keeping still, out to the side and back. Now each time you pull out that leg, you should feel a nice stretch on the thighs, especially on the outside of the thighs it pull out. Two more. Now stretch again, both feet inside of the ring and place the hands on the outside, allowing the knees and elbows to straighten and nose again to the pad. Lengthen the legs and bring the legs closer to the head and pulse them, stretching and releasing as we limber the back of the thighs. Then lower the head and place your ring between the knees, keeping the knees bent and the feet down, squeeze against the ring working here to push, working the abductors and abductors between the legs for 30 squeezes. Now if you don't have a ring, you can always use your ball and place it between the knees, pushing the knees against the ball instead. Now do the same on the outside muscles by taking the feet through the ring and taking them back to tabletop and again pull them open.
Once you've done 30 of these, place the ring on the inside of the calf muscles and again push it together and release for 36. Work in the same muscles but also work in the quadriceps. Now release the ring and when ready, drop the legs. When you're comfortable, draw in a deep breath in, take the chin to the chest as we go into the hundred, making sure the heels are in line with the knees. And pump up your tyres, pushing up and down until you've counted a hundred pushes with the hands. Don't forget to in breath through your nose and out breath fully, uh, what? Out breath fully through the mouth. you can take the legs to the ceiling or pull a diagonal stretch towards the corners of the room or where the coving is in your lounge or living room or where the ceiling meets the wall. 20 more. Knees in, neck down and gently rock side to side. Well done so far. Now bringing one leg to crook position, take the other leg a little higher and push it away so the heel's in line with the knee and then draw the leg out to the side and back. Holding the opposite leg as you drop the leg out to the side and back, working here on the glute muscles and on your abductor muscles. Now each time the leg goes out, I'm still breathing out and in and pulling my tummy muscles in to, to allow <coughs> the back to stay nice and flat underneath me. Five more. And change legs, doing the same here on the other leg. And again, try not to let the bent knee that's in crooked position move. So my hand there stabilizing that leg as the other leg moves abductly to the side. Now, if you did do yesterday's Zoom Zumba, and this morning's aerobics, you're going to feel these legs where you've worked them yesterday. Last four. Now going back to tabletop, you may want to encourage your back to be secure by placing the ball just under the coccyx as we go tabletop to the floor again. But now slightly higher raised legs up and feathers to travel from here to the floor. So lowering and coming up, we're going to do 30 drops though. Well done. Now draw the feet down and remove the ball and the block or pillow under the head. Stretch your arms and lengthen them, keeping the feet firmly on the ground. Push the back in and the shoulders down so an arch then is made through the back. Allow the shoulders to fully 
stretch down into your mats as you lengthen the elbows. And then from here, draw a deep breath in, chin to chest and roll up, taking the hands all the way to your knees and back down. Repeat this roll up, also for 30 counts. Now, a tip again, as I've mentioned many times, if you're finding the neck hurts, bring the hands out to the side and protect the neck. As the elbows stay fully out to the side, you will then target deep in here into your abdominal muscles. Last five. Now lengthen arms and legs slowly as to not hurt the back. Then from here, come up, hold and come back down. Repeat this for 16. Up and hold, down and back. And again, if the neck hurts, take the block with you or the pillow, doing exactly the same exercise that we're doing, but supporting the neck like this. Now by holding it there for one second, you target the rectus abdominis muscles or inside of the pelvis. You'll feel this nice and tight as it burns and then releasing. Two more. Now bend the knees again. From here, make sure there's still nothing underneath the head and pull the heels to the bottom, extending the pelvis to the ceiling into a bridge position. Hold in this position, hold for six breaths. Feel the top of the legs working, the lower back and squeeze the glute muscles together as you stretch and elongate the spine. See if you can bring the heels closer to the bottom or full progression, work the pelvis higher to bring the fingers on the edge of your heels. Again, holding here for another six deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. ready if you have a block add it under the bottom and then take one leg up to the ceiling and then draw the leg closer to the face stretching from the hip to the toes nice and lengthened for just six breaths as you stretch two more breaths to finish on this leg before we change over and when ready repeat again Now lower the toes, remove the block and stay here. This time keep the hands beside your hips. Keep squeezing the bottom and pelvis together and feel the top of the quadricep muscles holding as the heels stay off the floor. Now extend the arms and hold for four breaths. Now lower the bottom and straighten the legs but don't move the arms. Now lengthen the whole body, pulling the hands away from the feet. Draw the tummy muscles in and then squeeze the glute muscles together. Then with the arms, one at a time, bring one hand to the hip and then repeat on the other arm. Stretch and alternate arm lifts to lengthen and breathe in and out. For those that have problems with shoulders, this is a really good exercise to do, or if you feel as though you slept funny, well this will stretch fully into the rotary cuff muscles. Last two. Now from here, draw the hands beside you. Bend the knees again into crook position, 
and then add your block again underneath your head. Then when ready, you'll need your band. Place the band around the foot or use your ring. Once it's around the foot, lengthen and bring the elbows down to the floor. We have done these before in the past, but today for 30 counts, lowering the leg and taking it out to an adductor stretch, lower and come up for 30. Now here, trying to keep the legs straight and the elbows close to your chest or ribcage and the hands don't move. The bent knee there, still supporting the stretch of the leg, but keeping the heel fully down. We're halfway. For more progression, bring the foot closer to the head before you extend. Now we're going to take the leg out to the side, but you might want to hold the band with both hands. Now if you don't got, haven't got a band at home, you can do this without. Just make sure you extend the legs. Squeeze the glute muscles as they go out to the side and watch that the other knee is not moving. So you might want to secure it with the hand if it keeps going out to the side and back. We're halfway. Each time you pull open, you should feel the glute muscles contract and the breath out should be as the leg moves out to the side. Two more and then repeat with the other leg. 30 leg kicks first and then abductor stretches. Well done so far. So now out to the side and back. Remember what I said about this leg, keep the bent knee still. Ten more. Now bringing the legs to the ceiling with both feet inside of the band. Drop the legs and bring them back up. Now if you do have a bad back, I would suggest the ball underneath the bottom. This will protect your lower back. So when you're ready, lower and come back up again. 30 counts to drop and lengthen. So working legs bottom and to miss. Now if you find it hard to take the heels close to the floor, just don't go down so far. So you just do little movements instead, yes?
10 more, don't forget your breath out as the legs go down and the breath in as they come up. Now to progress, take the head down, as the feet goes down, bring the head up. Now release the band and the ball and bring yourselves up. We're now going to go onto the side, bring the elbow underneath you and straighten the legs. Bring the other hand in front. I'm going to point the toe and lift and flex the heel and come down for 30 leg floats here, working on bottom leg and back. In breath as the leg comes up, out breath as the leg comes down. Try not to give up after you've done 10. You should feel a nice warm bottom now. Now even if you did a little bit of exercise each day, you would feel better in it. Being able to cope with children if you're homeschooling, husbands if they're working from home, or if you're a man watching, be able to put up with us women nagging. It will also help you do the housework quicker because the legs would have moved and you would have felt stronger and had an energy boost to be able to do the jobs at home. Also mentally, it does clear the mind. Four more. Last one. Now hold the leg in the air and then bring the heel behind you. Bring in the heel to the bottom, stretch the front of the leg or the quadricep muscles. Hold for two breaths. If the arm hurts, lay down with the pillow under the head and relax the arm in front. Bend both knees now and swing forward and back for 30 counts, trying to get the heel to the bottom, working through your glute muscles, your back and your hip. Five more. And relax the legs to the side, but bring them off the floor to finish. Hold for two breaths with both heels together and length through the side of the body. And then we're going to swap sides and do the same on the other side. So here, up and down, pointed toe goes up, flexed heel comes down, stretching through your bottom, your glutes and the outside of the legs. Now each time you lift, you should feel a stretch under here as well as in the bottom of the leg. Just make sure the hips face in the knee and it's not pulled too far back. If you do suffer with a knee problem, this shouldn't hurt the knee, or here you're lengthening the muscles and ligaments around them. It will hurt more on the hip and the tops of the leg.
20 more. Keep going. Start to eighth now. Last six. And then bring the top leg behind you as you did on the other side. Watch the knee on this one and draw the heel to the bottom to stretch through the bottom and back. Notice here I've bent the bottom leg, ready to swing forward and back. This works on the hip, lower back and bottom. Just make sure the hip is still facing forwards. And you've got 15 here. And each time you move through the back and bottom, remember the heel's travelling further away. You should feel it in the lower back and make you feel so good as you move. And again, if the um, elbow or arm hurts, remember you can lay down any time. But keep going to work through the bottom. If you can stay upright, it does work under here as well. Stretching the obliques on the underside of the body. Last four. Into my leg, bringing both legs to the side and then both heels together, lift them off the floor. Two to three breaths here. We're then going to go on to our tummies. I'm just going to grab my block. So you'll need a block or pillow and we're going to place the forehead on the edge of the block or pillow. Bringing the hands behind you. When ready, relax the shoulders first as we work into the shoulders. Make sure that the neck is in line with the rest of the vertebrae and then roll the shoulders back and roll them down. So it's a half circle pushing up and a half circle down. This is really going to work the neck and shoulder muscles. Each time you pull back you should feel the shoulder blades squeezing together. Four more to make ten. Last one. Now place the hands in the centre of the back, keeping the head and neck nice and still. Pull from the lower back to come up, strengthening lower back and then bring the body back down. Notice we're not moving the head, the head stays still. We use the lumbar spine to lift and retract. Deep breath. Breathing is needed in hand out breath. And we're going to try 15 of these. Relax the legs and pull through the lower back. This in return squeezes the glute muscles together. Alternative for this is to bring the hands to the side and gently lift with no pressure in the lower back. Two more. Last one. Now bring the hands either side of the chest and come up again. This time lifting the head and lengthening the chest and abdominal muscles. Squeeze the glute muscles together and still keep leaving the hips on the floor. And hold here for two more breaths. Working into the knees and be careful for those watching with knee problems. Gently bring the heel up slowly towards the bottom and down. If you feel a clicking in the knees, just do little ones. Don't come up too high or if it hurts, stop. So single knee clicks or single knee bends. <laughs> Now 
Now we've done 10 double knee kicks if you can. For those that want the progression of this one, and this might be enough, don't do this if you have a poorly knee, but bring yourselves up onto the elbow, taking the abdominals and hips off the floor, and then you'll get more of a workout in the tummy muscles as you double knee kick. You mustn't do this with a poorly knee, so go back to single knee kicks if it hurts. Now drop the toes and then slowly bring the bottom off the floor, holding into plank for four breaths. And then drop the knees to go into a shell pose, lengthening the bottom towards the heels and the arms in front. Then when ready, come up, walk the feet towards the hands. And if you can, place the hands over the feet, tucking the head in. And bend the knees to slowly roll up, tucking in the tummy muscles. Straighten in the back and take the arms to the ceiling. Then keeping a gap between the legs, gently bend and work the bottom away from the knees, pulsing. If it hurts the knees, don't go down too low. And then bring the arms in front, push again through the glute muscles, gently pulsing for six breaths here, or six bends. Drop the hands. And slowly roll, tucking the tummy muscles in, come up to standing, roll the shoulders back and down. Have a lovely afternoon. We'll see some of you on Friday. Well done. Bye-bye for now.